is widened. And it's in these times where we can enter into a feeling of oneness more easily, and there is a potency that is magnified, and they say 10,000 times, but really, isn't it infinite? Because it's about the devotion and the focus that you bring to it. Whenever you come to a cusp of something, where one thing is turning into another, where the crescent moon dissolves into darkness, like Mahashiva Lakshmi. And there is a, 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 that happens every month, right? Every moon cycle. But this is the great one. Every time your inhale turns into the exhale, or you move from a yoga pose into another, those transitions offer you a time to go into that, to penetrate into the heart, into the essence. And remember that this one thing and that one thing really are the same. They're just different expressions of it. And so even though all of us probably have different beliefs, we're all here because we want to come into the heart in our own way. Shiva is the, the auspicious one, is what the name literally means. And Shiva is a um, an expression of God, of divinity. When we try to understand something so big, it's helpful to give it names. And in Sanskrit, when you're talking about the Sanskrit language, it holds the vibration of whatever it's naming. It's a very true language. So as we chant tonight, Om Namah Shivaya, you're entering into the resonance of auspiciousness. And what is auspiciousness? It's goodness. Very simply, it's the essence of good, the purest, most joyful, most loving goodness. And that is your essence. That is the heart of who you are. And the skin and the blood and the breath and every feeling, even though sometimes it feels like Maybe you're alone in the darkness, you realize you're not, because the darkness is holding you. The shadows can be illuminated. So that's what we're here for tonight. That, and to set intention very clearly, because again, when you come into these transitions of potency, these places where the world opens up and says, where is the separation? I see none. Let's go right here, right into the heart, where the mind and the heart and the body are all pulsating in harmony. We can place something into that spot, an intention, a blessing, many intentions, many blessings. They don't have to be super specific. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to see exactly how things happen. If you can get just into a feeling that expresses it. Happiness, love, health, joy, abundance. You invite those in in this time and it's very special. If you find your mind, the exuberant puppy-like child that it is, coming up with things that you'd rather not think about right now in this powerful time, because you do want to watch what you think, just go right into the mantra. Om Namah Shivaya. Just remember what that mantra is, that it is joy and auspiciousness and love that's the truth of who we are. It is a purity that comes with this mantra that clears all mistakes and brings forgiveness, brings you into that vibration where everything is already forgiven. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Calling out from the heart to the heart. You're not really going anywhere, but it's a it's a it's a yearning. It's a, it's such an awe. I honor the essence of myself and the universe. I honor the goodness within. I honor the beauty within and all around me. It's a, a bowing to and a celebration of that goodness, that auspicious, pure joy that is Shiva. 
that we've named Shiva. So even though Shiva is the male archetype, Shakti, his counterpart, is never apart. They really are one. Okay, so tonight is when Shiva and Shakti come into oneness in a, in a beautiful way.
Shiva Shiva Shambhu